another video you guys i am stephanie nicole nicole glam life if you're new and today as you see by the title i am going to be doing a chit chat talking about and touching on a couple of things that's just really been on my mind um to break up how to get over a breakup to things that i do some insecurities that probably a lot of people have and just 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 chit-chatting it up with y'all, just talking and just rambling on and on. So if you would like to see tips and advice and just a girl chit-chat, just keep on watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I post. And yeah, just keep on watching you guys. So I just wanted to talk about and touch on a few things that's been on my mind. Because it's just been a lot of different different things that I let like upset me and stuff like that, which I shouldn't because knowing who I am, me knowing who I am, I shouldn't let certain things get to me. And I just want to touch on a few things on how to go about doing things, especially when dating. So let me just talk about that first. Y'all, I talk a lot about dating. And that's just because um, y'all know I am a lover. Like I love love. I am a sucker for love. So you will hear me talk about a lot about dating. If you don't know me, if you're not familiar with my channel, I do talk about dating. And that's because I am in the dating world. Um, I do date right now. I don't date anyone right now. Right now. But I like to date. I like to talk to, you know, different people. Um, I'm a single woman in America. I like to date and I'm young. So, yeah, you're going to hear me talk about dating and the ups and downs, the ins and outs, my experiences. So, yeah. My thing is with dating right now, I don't feel like I date the right type of people. Like, and I probably said it before on my channel. I don't feel like I date the right type of people. And one thing I have noticed new though, is a reason why we get disappointed so fast is we can't be so easily impressed. We just can't be so easily impressed with the small things. Don't even like expect and look forward like, to the big things if we just get so easily impressed and moved and just fall in love with the very bare minimum. Like a person is not going to reach for and do more and do things that you're not used to because you're so easily impressed with the small things something that may be gained, something that they may do for anyone, something that just just the bare minimum, we can't be so easily impressed. And that's one thing that I found that I that I kind of do. Let me tell you something. Chivalry is not dead. A real man is going to let you know the small things you shouldn't even be rewarding him for, like the small things shouldn't be something you're praising him for. A real man is going to let you know this should be a requirement. Like, if I want you, I'm going to do the things it takes to get you and keep you. And that requires you doing the small things. It should just be a requirement. That's all I'm going to say on that. Another thing is, we cannot think every man or woman that comes in our life that we are going to marry that person like it just doesn't work like this some people come in your life for a lesson some people come in your life just for a blessing just for a season we cannot think that we're going to marry every person that we give our attention to it just doesn't work like that and I'm only speaking from experience. Like whenever I tell you a story, whenever I try to give advice, I'm speaking from experience. I'm speaking from a place that I've been. Like I'm not just gonna be giving like advice that don't like hold no weight or no place in my life. Like 
I've been through this stuff. And I I was that girl, like, thinking every person I talk to, I, like, plan a life out for us. And we're not supposed to do that because once you think just because a person comes in your life that they're going to be with you forever, you expect certain things. And that's how you get disappointed. You ever heard of no expectations, no disappointments? That's how it is. And that's how I try to go about and think of things and people nowadays because I just let myself get so disappointed by people when they don't exceed my expectations. Some people are are just not built like you. They don't love how you love. Some people are not even willing to learn your love language, learn about you, learn what you want and what you don't want. And it just be difficult when dating. That's how that's why you really have to get to know who you are, what you really want, what you really expect and and just spend some time with you, getting to know you. Once you do that, you will really fall in love with yourself if you don't love yourself already. If you love yourself already, you'll get to learn yourself and love yourself more and your standards will raise higher because you know, like, I'm not about to deal with no mess. Like, I've been through too much with these people. Like, I'm not gonna let nobody just come in and just knock me off my square. And my mind just be all in another place when it's just supposed to be focused on this thing, but it's over here. I do that a lot too. When I'm focused in on someone, when I like a person, it's just me and that person. I don't see nothing else as far as dating. I don't I don't want anyone else. Like I'm I'm the type of person when I'm talking to a person, it's just that person. I don't date around even though it's very healthy too. Some people don't like it. Some people do. A lot of people do. Like my friends, they date around. They're not finna just be tied to one person if they're not in a relationship with them. And I feel like the more I look at dating now, I feel like that's healthier because you're not limited. If they don't come through for something, you know, you got somebody else. If they don't, um, you know, they're not doing something, you got somebody else. But then again, the other side of me is like, I don't want to be focused on all these different type of people, all these different type of personalities. I just want that one person that I can build with, that I can you know, share the things with that I can just, you know, I don't want to have to get to know a lot of different people. I don't want to have to put my time into a lot of different people. I don't want to have to bring different people around. Like I have a daughter. So I try my best to present myself in a certain type of light because of her. So that's one reason I, I don't. For the next topic is just raising your standards and having your own. When a man knows that you have your own, it seems like that they do more because they know they have to do more to get you. When they know that you can do it by yourself, they know they're have they have to do more to get you. So it's really a plus when people come along and you already have your own. You don't need them for this and that. And when you have your own, your standards should just be automatically raised. Like, that's just a given. When you have your own, you knowing that you have this, you have your own car, you have your own place, you have your own income. You know, you're doing things on your own. What a man has is extra. So, they know they got to come with it. Off the bat, they know they have to come with it. But, yeah, I just I just recommend always having your own. Um, not depending on a person to give you this and that and do things for you. If they do things for you, that's just a plus. That should automatically be just a plus. But yeah, have your own sis, like get your own coin, Um, get to the bag on your own, especially when you're in a place where you're getting your own bag. Don't be worried about these dudes. Like they're gonna come focus on yourself, I feel like when you when you're doing more, you have less time to deal with BS. 
you just have less time to deal with BS because like I'm doing more. I'm working on my business, I'm working on my goals, and I'm working on myself. So what you talking about, I'm not even hearing because it's BS. Like you're not coming with anything but problems. Like, no, don't let him sis. Do not let him. Okay? Period. He's gonna be like, oh, she has her own, so you know, let me come with this. I know she got real responsibilities, real, you know, goals that she's trying to accomplish, real things that she's trying to do. And I just can't be coming on no, no little boy stuff. Like it's time out for the little boy stuff. Like we want real men. And it's a drought on real men these days. Everybody wanna be that nigga real niggas and this and that and all that stuff but you ain't you ain't impressing nobody only little girls that don't have nothing going for themselves only little girls that don't expect much and that brings me to my next topic i mean you have to know what you want and it can't be on no i just want him to be loyal i just want him to be honest i just want him to be you know answer the phone that's so small raise your standards enough to where they have to really come with it like i want somebody that listens to me because i have so many things i want to talk about i have so many things that be on my mind i just need somebody to listen to me i need somebody to listen and also give their feedback i hate when i'm talking to a person and I'm just talking and talking and they not saying nothing. Even when I'm done with the story or the subject, it's like crickets. Like you can't give me your feedback. You you don't feel no way about it or are you just not listening? That is one of the biggest turnoffs that I have is a person not listening or a person that don't want to hear me talk because a person can get tired of a person talking because I know I can, but not if it's a person that I like and I really want to know about them. I really want to um, just learn about them. I, I wouldn't, you know, get tired of hearing your stories. I wouldn't get tired of, you know, that. So I need somebody to listen to me. I need somebody to be there when I'm feeling down, be there when I'm happy, be there when I'm sad, be there for every emotion that I have. And I, I'm going to be honest, baby. <laughs> I can't get a little, I can't be up and down in my feelings sometimes. And I just need you to be there. I need you to, when I'm mad, not get mad with me. Not get an attitude with me just because I'm mad. Just for the sake of us both being mad. No, I need a man that's going to be like, baby, we're going to get through this. Baby, we're going to, you know, cut the attitude out. It's, it's a dead situation. Cut it out. And, you know, I love that. I used to date dudes that just get mad with me or just let me be mad and just not care. I don't have time for it no more. Like, I'm leveling up in life and I need a different type of man. Like, I've raised my standards because my standards used to be really low. And I'm going to be honest about that. A lot of people's standards used to be really low. And I know mine used to be, but now they aren't. And I just need a different type of person. I need someone that's going to really care about how my day is, how my day is going. Like incorporate me in their day. Make sure I'm getting things done. Make sure that, you know, I ate. Make sure, you know, because I'm the, because that's the type of woman that I am. I'm going to ask you what you do today. You know, did you get this done? You know, what did you eat? You know, do you need me to bring you some food? You know, um, how's your mind state right now? What are you thinking about? Like, I love that. And I need somebody that's on my level. I need somebody to know my love language. And we don't have to have the same love language. Everybody's love language is not the same. But I need you to learn mine. So you will know, you know, how to handle me. So you will know how to, you know, treat me. You know, I want to learn your love language. I want to know what you like, what you dislike, what makes you mad, what makes you sad, what makes you feel a certain type of way, what makes you, you know, 
all of that stuff. So you have to look for that type of person and raise your standards as far as knowing what you want and making someone meet those standards because they're only going to do what you allow. We heard that before. They're going to do what you allow. They're going to, you know, only bring to the table what you what you accept and just don't accept no no crap, okay? So, another thing is stop being so available when it's one-sided. It's not a great feeling. We all know it's not a great feeling being so available and so for a person when it's when it's one-sided. Like you call me, I'm picking up. I call you, you ain't picking up. Like what are you doing? I know I'm beautiful. I know I have this going and stuff like that, but the type of person that you may be dating or that you may be attracted to is not used to the type of woman that you are. It's not used to the type of things that you bring to the table. It's just not used to a girl checking up on them, a girl calling them, you know, just want to talk. They just probably used to doing what they want to do. So don't be if if you're if you're checked to each his own if you're checked to this type of person you know i'm not gonna knock you um just don't be so available when they want to talk or when they want to hang up when they want to link up um if it's only one side if, if you're not getting the same in return if you're not getting all of their attention and you're giving them all of yours you're doing something wrong sis it's not gonna turn out how you want to because you're gonna find yourself like drained honestly drained you're gonna be um wondering what they're doing all the time you're gonna be wondering um what can i do to make them want to talk to me what have i done wrong to make them not want to talk to me you're gonna be wondering this over and over and it's not a good feeling at all so if you're talking if you're dating and you know um you don't know if you want to be with them or not or anything just if it's the type of thing where is they not all in and you are don't be so available make them deserving of your time make them ask for your time like be the one not answering the phone, not picking up the phone every time they call because they're going to be wondering what you're doing. Just switch it up. Like, don't give them all of you if they're not giving them, if they're not giving you their all. Don't, don't give it to them because you're going to be drained and you're going to be crying. <laughs> you're going to be crying. Like, seriously. So, listen, sis. And... Uh, Another thing I want to touch on is trust actions. Trust actions. A lot of people come with words. A lot of dudes be great talkers. Like they will talk you out of your freaking draws. And I mean that. Like they will talk you out of your draws because they know how to talk. They know how to get what they want with their words. Because some dudes just be great with words. And I have had a few that are great with words that be you will you know rethink your whole thought process like wow where have you been all my life just off of their words but they come with zero zero zilch nada no action like where is the energy behind all the things that you're talking about i want to see this to the point where I don't even trust words no more because people have so many ill intentions and you just will not know until you don't see the action that they don't put behind their words. Like, you told me you was going to do this. You told me you was going to be that. You told me we was going to, you know, do this and that. But it be nothing. Like, it be empty, empty words, like empty promises. And it's just dead. You should be tired of empty promises from people that really ain't even worth your time anyway. Because a real man is going to come in with actions. 
He's not gonna, you know, let you hang on to his every word. He's not gonna let you um, just be looking forward to something that's not gonna ever come, period, point blank. So many women has let men get away with just telling them something and not doing it that they feel like it can work on everybody. So I just recommend you just recognize the talkers versus the doers. Even God said he wants you to be a doer of the word. Doer. Be a doer. It's not hard. If you're not going to do something, if you're not about that life, if you're not that type of man, just move along. Stop messing with the great women. Messing them up, telling them different things and stuff like that. It's just going on about your business. But we as women have to recognize the men that just want to talk and just leave you with a bunch of words versus a man that's going to do it. Period. <laughs> Period. Yeah. And another thing is learning. This is a big one. This is a big one. Learning how to leave a person where they had you messed up at, okay? Like, first of all, sir. You got me messed up and I don't have time for it. It's so many other men out here that's gonna do you right, love you right. And we just don't have time. Like, life is too short. It just keeps on going every second, every second, every minute, every hour every day we just have to keep on moving we cannot waste time on things that are interrupting our peace that are messing with our minds our ph balance and our bank accounts we cannot do it we lose money we lose brain cells we lose just lose we losing out dealing with people that don't mean us no good so we just have to learn to leave these dudes where they had us messed up at. You ain't doing this, okay. I'm gonna give you a second chance. I might give you a second chance. You know, I ain't gonna just, you know, just be so cold hearted because you may well tell the truth, you know, this came up or, you know, I couldn't call you back because, you know, my phone went dead. So I'm like, you know, just, but once it's constant, just, just, gracefully bow out and be like you know at this point in my life i i just really don't have time for it i don't have time to be waiting around and be asking for your attention i shouldn't have to ask for your attention especially it be the ones that be begging for your attention years in the making may not even be years in the making but a person that comes to you and want your number and you know try to talk to you and stuff like that and they just 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 be just ill intentions but you just have to learn how to leave a person where they had you messed up at i don't have time to deal with it and i've come to a point in my life where if i see nothing is changing if i see that I'm not getting treated a certain type of way. I'm just going to let you know it's not working out. And I'm going to do it in such a classy way where you feel like it should have been an argument there. No, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to let you know it's not working out. So I'm just going to, you know, move on. And honestly, I did that probably like last month. I told a person, um, you know, I'm... I'm, I'm honestly tired of telling you the same thing. So I'm not going to put no more energy into it. No more energy into it. So it was that on that. It was just like, okay. And I was like, great. I don't have to, I don't have to go back and forth. I don't have to um, change my thought process of what, I said because they didn't even reply. So it was nothing to go back and forth on. So it was like a, a whatever type of thing. And for me, it was great 
because I knew you weren't the type of person that I needed in my life. And you go about your business and I can go about mine, period. But I said all this to say, ladies, we are we are in this together. We just have to raise our standards. We have to know um, ourselves. We have to get to know ourselves. We have to love ourselves. And with, com with loving yourselves comes with just knowing you are so worthy. You are beautiful. Stop thinking you are undateable because it's somebody out there that's going to come along and blow your mind. Like God is just waiting for you to change her type. Like change the type of dudes that you entertain. Change the type of dudes that you want, that you feel like you want, that you feel like you need. He's just waiting for you to just change it so he can just bring your husband and somebody that's going to appreciate everything that you have to offer. So I just want to tell you, don't, do not settle. Do not settle. Do not settle. I won't settle. My friends won't ever settle. You are beautiful. You are gorgeous. And you are worth it. And I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. That concludes the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time that I post. Let me know down in the comments if you relate, if you like this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.